What's going on everybody? Welcome to Pythonist. I received many requests for a video series about Cython. So finally, you got it. We have a lot of things to cover and I am going to discuss some important things related to Cython in this series. So let's get into it. We will discuss why should we explore Cython and what it is actually, how it can be used. We will try to find answers to these questions in this video series. As Python is an interpreted programming language, it is much slower than a number of compiled programming languages like C and C++. Many programmers opt for various supersets of Python programming languages to accelerate code execution speed. There are different tools to speed up code execution like NumPy, Pandas, and Scikit-learn. But all of these make improvements within the state of Python. Another option to achieve better performance is to compile the Python to C level. So here's Cython comes into the place. Cython's power comes from the way it combines Python and C. It feels like Python while providing easy access to C. Cython is situated between high-level Python and low-level C. But Python and C-like languages are so different. Why should we combine them? Precisely because their differences are complementary. Python is a high-level, dynamic, easy to learn and flexible. These positives come with the cost, however, because Python is dynamic and interpreted. It can be several orders of magnitude slower than statically typed compiled languages like C. C language, on the other hand, is one of the oldest statically typed compiled languages in widespread use. So compilers have had nearly half a century to optimize its performance. C is very low level and very powerful, unlike Python. It doesn't have many safeguards in place and can be difficult to use. Cython's beauty is this, it combines Python's expressiveness and dynamic nature with C's bare metal performance while still feeling like Python. It is battle tested in real world environments and it continues to innovate to provide a better performance, greater ease of use and better coverage of new Python features. The developers can load and use the extension modules directly in the Python code through the import statement. Let's get a big picture of what we are going to cover in this video series. We will start this journey by getting ourselves introduced to Cython and some of its important terminologies along with the Cython development setup on your system, like Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. After that, we will start writing the basic code implementations of Cython and talk about its execution, like its compilation pipeline, the Cythonize along with the distutils, interactive Cython with IPython's magic commands, then we will move further to explore how Cython can be used with other build systems. This journey will make you capable of diving deeper into the world of Cython, where we will talk about interpreted versus compiled executions, static types, Cython and extension types, wrapping C and C++ libraries, and some of the profiling tools works for Cython. At the end of this series, we will understand a really amazing and advanced topic which is the parallel programming with Cython, where we will learn about Cython's multi-threading features to access thread-based parallelism. Our focus will be on the p-range Cython function, which allows us to easily transform serial for loops to use multiple threads and tap into all available CPU cores. 
Often, we can turn on this thread-based loop parallelism with fairly trivial modifications. We will see that for embarrassingly parallel CPU-bound operations, P-Range can work well. Before we can cover P-Range, we must first understand certain interactions between the Python runtime and native threads, which involves CPython's global interpreter lock. And under this section, we will also talk about one of the most important concepts in the context of parallelism for Cython, which is interpreter lock, a term that frequently comes up in discussions of CPython's thread-based parallelism is the global interpreter lock, and in short, we usually call it as GAL. Now, at the very end, after getting a clear explanation of all of these important concepts, it is worthwhile to consider Cython in relation to other projects. As we will talk about, Cython does many things well. It brings optional static typing to the Python language, it compiles Python to C, and it enables easy interoperability between Python, C, and C++. The greater Python world is diverse, and it is no surprise that many projects, new and old, overlap with Cython in some way. How does Cython match up and what makes it relevant in the midst of these other options? When I'm breaking a new Python project, why should we use Cython? That's going to be a great journey full of experiments and learnings. But how can we use Cython? That is the third question I mentioned at the beginning of this video. The answer to this question is that, that's what this video series is all about. So stay tuned, be connected, we will add regularly new videos to answer this question. That's it for now. If you like the content of this video, thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.